Hello my awesome friends, I know you were expecting me to continue on my football game but the thing is, we try to do some uh, proper kicking system but it's not possible right now, the game maker is in alpha and there will be a lot of updates so I'm kinda waiting for some good kicking system but I still have the collaboration with the sandbox so I'm gonna show you how you can create anything without con coding in it what it means I will build this like tutorial tower where on some floors I wanna show you different things we start with the important thing and there's the entrance aka the doors I forgot to say I can show you perfectly with this how the note coding works so I have few doors on this first floor and I'm gonna show you how you can do it alright so we have this first door and this NPC we want to open the door by talking to NPC. So first thing we need to do is to set this NPC's behavior to Asker because we need him to talk to us. Now when we have the tasker, we need to set the question for him. So are you sure you wanna go into, into the tutorial Tower. and we have the answers here the a1 a2 a3 a4 they basically represent the we can call it tag or the thing we need to cooperate with something else you will see what i mean so first answer will be yes second one will be no we don't need anything more so now we can see a1 is yes a2 is no now when we have the door we will need the message required so when the message sent is a1 we need message required to be a1 whoa this is not door wait 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 door no that was <laughs> that was nonsense we need message required so message required will be a1 to open basically easy all right, now we go in the game, write everything just fine, and now we're gonna talk to him. Are you sure you wanna go into the tutorial tower? So, answer yes is A1. So when we click that, that's a message sent A1, and now the door received the message A1, so it opened. Easy as that. All right, so for the next door, we'll use this barbarian berserker. What we will need to do is to kill him to open the door. How we will do that? We'll click on him. His behavior is a melee enemy. That's good. But here, in the components, we have edit logic. When we click on it, we can find message sent on death. When it dies, it will send some message. We can create even our own message. So, message is kill. Okay? Add kill. Now, send to tags. We need to create our own tag because if we will use this prepared one, it will send to all the doors. So we will add tag, door, kill. Why not? Now, back to barbarian. Edit logic and send to tags, door, kill. This is door. And now we need message required. Message required is kill. Add. And now, oh, he's fighting us earlier than I wanted. Come here, come back here. We fight him. Come here, you will die. Now, what happened? <laughs> Alright, I found out there was something that I couldn't use the te uh, to, to use message kill. So I just changed it to message sent on death to open door and message required open door. And now, when we kill him, kill this boy, he's finished and now it opens the door. Easy! Alright, for the next door, we can use some button or some lever so we can try to find lever and we have here this Asian lever. So, first we will place it somewhere, we can place it here, why not, right? And now, we need to click on it. We can do it in two ways. One is to use it only like a button, so its behavior is button and message sent will be button open door message required button open use easy so we go there and now we just press it and it opens the door or we can do it 
with differently what is much cooler in my opinion and it will make it again ask her like the npc and we will just ask a question do you want to open the door yes and no and what we can do because we don't want to use again answer a1 a2 and not nor even a3 or a4 because it will be overused we can we can do for a1 message send to create our own keyword so yes and no okay and now basically we'll go again on the door uh, and we will need message required yes and now when we click on it it opens this dialog and i think it looks much better and now we click yes and i probably mistyped something yep i know i need <laughs> capital letter for yes all right my bad sorry and now when we press yes it will open the door easy like that all right and the next door we will open by quest so we will need few things i prepared this npc here we need to change his behavior again to be asker his name john uh, cage from mortal kombat <laughs> question can you find gold key to open the door? First answer will be, I will try my best. Second, we don't need second one. Why? We don't need it. And now we don't want to use the A1 message again as the A1. So we will create our own and we're gonna wait quest. Why not? Now we need to create the quest somehow. So we go here in the rules and here we have quests. So add quests, we want to rename it, golden key, quest description, collect the gold key, unlock quest, we will need the message, because we want to be unlocked by message, and by this message, message, quest, so message is just quest, launch quest will be the same, because we want to launch it too, by that message, quest type will be counter, and counter time collected objects, we will need to create that object, First. but we don't want it to be so easy so we will make this chest to spawn that object so we click on the chest behavior where is it asset spawner so it spawn that object when we click on it asset spawn will be gold key behavior we don't need behavior edit logic and now we want components for that and make it collectible so we actually pick it up you know so now we need to have a tag for that object what will spawn so the here in the quest we need to change it to for example gold key I'm all, amount only one so we need this tag gold key for that asset what will be spawned now completion it can be auto completion and yes action after completion that's basically what will open the door so it will be Let's go with QC, I used it before on some different project, like a quest completed. Okay, alright, we got that. I forgot, we won't even, uh, we won't even that question mark, not question mark, that quest giver mark above his head. So we need to actually component indicator and link at quest golden key. And giver, we need the giver, it will define the quest he is given for, so golden key. Oh, we need last one, one thing and it's to open this door after message QC aka quest completed now when we will go there we'll talk to him can you find gold key to the gold key to open the door I'll try my best now we got the quest look at that new objective unlocked golden key now when we click on the chest it will spawn the gold key and now when we collect it it completed the quest and opened the door easy as that Alright, and last way I'm gonna show you today is to when you tap on something. So we will use this stone carving for it. We will place it here. We will make it like a little bit hidden so you don't know that's there for that. Now we'll click on it. And what we want to do, basically like we want to collect it. So it actually react to us. Display name, what I know, platform, no, button. We need only one and edit logic and we will need collect message collect message will be c open like collect open and we want some collect sound here is this generic door open so we will use that we need here message required c open and now play when we'll go there and we'll step on it we need more volume so you can actually hear it so this time 
Step on it and it opens the door. See? And in the next video, we will continue with something else for uh, second floor of our tutorial tower. But now, again, I'm gonna show you what is possible in the Game Maker and we're gonna play a new event for the sandbox. And today we're gonna play an event Trial 1 Hangar Games. There will be six trials in which you can participate and when you make it to leaderboard you can win some rewards for rank 1 you can win 1 yellow crystal it's the ultimate reward for rank 2 to 10 you can win 5000 cent and cent is basically something like robux in roblox basically you can buy the things on the marketplace for it for your avatar for your game when you're creating them and so rank 11 to 500 200 cent and la rank 501 to 1100 cent aka a tribute to your effort now let's go play that right here we go and look at that boys it looks really amazing wow man those animated billboards everything looks so cool here let's go here oh i'm literally on <laughs> Okay, uh, good joke though. Uh, can I do something here? And what is this? Is this a portal or some uh, ventilator or something? Fan, I meant fan. <laughs> okay, and yes, uh, destination Hunger Games. Cool. Alright, my friends, we are here. I actually forgot, but I got this beautiful <laughs> unicorn header from this sandbox what the kind guys and now what we need to do is to race in these three ways and to get the fastest time possible and to get in a little bird you can try it by yourself i challenge you and if you will be in the leaderboard okay then you will win the prize oh man i felt the slide no that failed my time that failed my time damn i'm failing the slide what am i doing why am i so bad thank you okay thank god i didn't fail it this time okay swim okay actually let's go let's go all right oh man what all right no jeez man oh my god now my time is terrible oh man wow <laughs> okay hike of the first jump forever oh i won't lie i tried it once before so i knew what i am going the record for you man i'm stuck on the beginning what's happening today what is happening with me okay but it's all right because we are much further right now okay let's go thank you and we are in the finish line with actually better time than before oh here is my header nice i have it i got it i got it i got even the torso and the sword look at the sword and the shield Jeez, this looks nice. Oh my god, now I'm ready. I'm ready to finish that. But what I want to show you here are three subquests. I tried one before, but we're gonna try a different one. These should be hard, like some uh, frustrating, ga frustrating games. You can try it by yourself if you can make it. And... Oh my god, what we need to do here? Oh, I got it. <laughs> I got it now. We need to... Okay, that's actually not so hard for now. Oh, this is a small space. And I'm fine. Oh, another one. No, no, no. Another one. Man, we are so great, Gelato. I am a unicorn nine from the Temple of Unicorns. We protect the world. Oh my god, no, I almost... Oh, Gelato fell! <laughs> oh man, poor Gelato, my boy. He was my friend. We knew each other since the childhood. Whoa, 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 it like that was my... Oh my god, my internet is stupid again, seems like. Man, last days my internet is terrible. Whoa, 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 okay, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, boys. Oh, I'm on the end. Nice, we made it. But our boy Gelato, he died here. Oh my god, I missed the boy. Alright, friends, but you can try it by yourself. It's pretty challenging, it's fun. And if you wanna create some games, you can download the Game Maker and create any game you want. I will do some more tutorials for you so you understand a bit better how it works and you can try to create something you want. The download link for the Game Maker is in the description and the pinned comment if you are interested, my friends. But this will be all for the video, so if you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, smash the subscribe button, and leave some comment in the comment section. Everything really helps, and I will really appreciate that, my friends. You're awesome. Have a nice day. And uh, bye, my friends.